All right, good morning. This is uh, Tragic Life here with Final Fantasy IV. I'm going to do a quick video here showing you off all the summons and a couple of the special items you want to get. Um, I ended up leveling up really, really high, so the end of this game is going to be easy, but it'll open up the door for the next game. So the first place is in the final dungeon. Um, when you get to the Lunar Subterranea B5, you're going to come to this room. It's going to look like an upside-down L. And you're going to know it's the correct one because when you open this chest, it's going to be a red fang. Now while, now, while in here, in order to get this, you want to you wanna fight a certain bad guy and they drop um, pink tails. They're called flan princesses. Um, the best way to fight them is you have sirens. So go ahead and click it. And these are the flan princesses. I will give you a heads up. It takes a very long time for them to actually... Um, It's a very rare drop. I mean, it took me a couple of hours to get this item. So, um, but they'll drop them. I'll show you them in a second. Um, so you end up fighting them. You're going to fight them probably 700, 800 times to get, and, and you probably want five, um, because they drop something called the pink tail. Um, I'll show you what you do when you get the pink tail and, uh, and why you do it. Okay, be right back. All right, so once you get all the uh, pink tails, you're gonna come down here. Um, in order to get to this area, you need both the hover ship and the ship that can carry it. And you're gonna come in here to the Adamant Isle Grotto, where this is the same place that we got the uh, we dropped off this thing to build the Excalibur. So you're going to talk to this guy. This guy's the rat, the tail catcher. And you're going to give him your pink tail. And he's going to give you the adamant armor. Now, I'm going to show you how powerful this is. Um, I'm actually going to do something else real quick. All right, so here it is. Ready? I mean, look at the difference. It is the best armor in the game. And when you combine it with something else, um, it becomes unfair. You actually get hit with magic and it will heal you. So let me go ahead and um, I'll be right back and I'll show you where to go get the cursed ring, which is something you add with this. All right, be right back. All right, so uh, when you come in here, let's see, I'm going to get the fight. You're looking for a couple of bad guys. Um, they all drop it. I think it's uh, they they don't drop them often. Again, it's another rare uh, drop. This one wasn't as bad as the uh, pink tails. Um, this one was a pain in the butt, but not nearly as bad as the pink tails. The pink tails took me almost two or three days to get five um, with a lot of uh, saving and a lot of. Um, a lot of saving and a lot of redoing and yeah uh, probably wasted about 200 armor um, curse ring maybe took me a couple hours so spirit souls hooligans ghosts d fossils and deep bones in this area you'll fight uh i think it's souls and spirits i'll be right back i'll i'll, unpo I'll show you when i get into the fight because there's a lot of other bad guys here be right back Alright, welcome back. So those guys in the back, the souls, um, and anything that looks like them, I believe, will drop them. Um, here we're not very weak. So, you want to get five of those. Now, I'm going to be honest, This this uh, the cursed ring by itself is a terrible weapon. It's a terrible tool, but it, as you read it, uh, increases your armor's attributes. So... Um, it actually makes, like if you get hit with magic, from my understanding, it's supposed to, instead of it hurting you, it will actually heal you, which is going to be awesome for the end game of this. Um, so the last thing I want to show you is the summons. So most of the summons in this game you automatically get, um, but I haven't shown you them, and I want to fix that before we go ahead and end this video today. Um, so let's go ahead and start with where you get them. 
and yeah, we'll go through it. So let's we'll start with the solo, um, the story uh, summons. All right. All right. So the first one you get in the story is the chocobo. The next one you get in the story is Dragon. Okay. All right. Um, you've seen me do Titan, but I'm going to do it again for those that haven't watched the video. Come on. It'll probably kill them all, but that's okay. Okay, then we unlock Shiva and Ifrit. Shiva, Rama, and Ifrit. Hey, these are the guys that we need to fight to uh, get the uh, nice stuff. So Shiva. Oh, she's going to make it cold. All right, next up is Ifrit. I may edit some of this and just to the point where you just see the fights. Oh, look, we got Rama. Here comes Ifrit. All right. Wow, didn't kill them all. Weird. So the next one you get, you actually don't... Uh, that's all of the ones that you're going to get. Like, those are the normal ones. If you play this game without looking for anything else, you'll get those summons. This next one, uh, Mashura, you actually have to go to the Cave of Summons in the Underworld and challenge her and beat her. Um, and that's Asura. She's rare because she's defensive. I don't think she does any damage. I might be wrong. Knowing her, she probably does do a little bit of damage. Okay, so the next one is Leviathan. Um, you actually have to go, let's see, you have to go also to the Cave of Summons and fight, challenge, after, you have to beat Asura first, and then you challenge Leviathan to a fight. Um, there is no water element in this game, so this is, this is considered non-elemental. Almost done with the uh, ones you have to fight. So next up is Odin. Um, after you beat um, 
Leviathan and Ashura, you go back to the original castle and you'll find the king turned into Odin. Um, and... Yep. Ah, so the next one is the only one that you can miss permanently if you make a mistake. So the next one is Sylph. Um, after getting the lava ability, and you have to go to the West Tower in Baron and get a frying pan, um, and return to the Sylvan Can Cave to wake up. Uh, Yang and you'll get this in the process if you go to the moon before you get this you won't get it okay so the next one up the next one is Bahamut uh, king of dragons um, I think you have to get the rat tail um, no uh, after you get Fusuyo you can head to the cave of Bahamut in on the moon to take him on and earn the summon um, you have to have already beaten Ashura and Leviathan for this one. This one is a very important one. This uh, I we're going to be using a lot in the end game. Bahamut is pretty awesome. Excuse me. Okay, so the next four, you actually have to find. Um, they're not... You actually have to grind for them. So I'm going to take you to the spot to grind. Well, is there one that we get here? No. Okay, so I'll show you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to warp to the places where you find them, get into a fight with them, and I'll show you the bad guy that you need to fight to... Uh, get them. There's four bad guys. Um, this is a pain, but one of these took me longer than anything. So I will be right back. All right. So here we have a goblin. You have to fight a bunch of goblins to get this next one. Although I'm gonna tell you, this one didn't take as long as some of the others. So uh, eventually he'll drop goblin, and goblin will come in and punch him. It's not very strong but that's okay so on to the next one which took me the longest actually uh no we'll do the la bomb last because that's on the moon all right be right back okay so the next one you have to find the mind flares which um for me were some of the biggest pains in the butt um this one took me a long time to get longer than it probably should have um for a an ability that doesn't even matter um this summon is pretty bad Honestly, uh, but for completion's sake, all right. So that was it. Yeah. So, uh, two more to go. So, the next one is cockatrices. You got to find cockatrices, and they'll drop one. So um, and then you'll get theirs. This wasn't one so bad. Honestly, the Mind Flayer was the worst one. Uh, the bomb was difficult too because of the bad guy. More uh, the area where you had to get it, which kind of dangerous versus the actual uh, drop ability. I felt like he dropped it pretty quickly. So for the last one, we got to go back to space. All right, last one. I found them with these dark grenades. Um, Another place you want to find bombs. Bombs actually don't drop these. I know that sounds weird. Bomb doesn't drop the bombs. So you just go to use the bomb. And that's all the summons. Um, and that was all the summons. We got the pink tails of the advent armor. We got the curse ring. So we're now ready for the final game. Um, so until... Uh, next time, adios amigos, we're really close. I'm going to try to beat this, and then I'm going to beat it with the second group, and I'm going to try to unlock the entirety of the uh, uh, post-game, although I'm not 100% sure if I can, but we're going to try. 
because um, I want to do the entire post game because it sounds challenging and then we'll do the next two games. All right. So adios amigos.